guys and dolls welcome back today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a shoe and accessories haul which I've been kind of cultivating or kind of you know wrangling in for a couple of months so this is a collective haul I didn't just go out last weekend and buy all this stuff well actually some of it I did but um anyway so I just want to share with you guys this stuff I love accessories I think it's such a great way to add an accent to an outfit and just show a little bit of flair and personality and I think it kind of goes back to like my mom and my grandmother they both had like huge jewelry collections and my mom has like all kinds of beautiful scarves and beautiful handbags and stuff like that so it's kind of fun to just like I don't know it makes me feel connected to them but then also it shows like my own personality because I like I you know we all have different tastes and everything. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some really cool stuff I got from Charming Charlie some stuff from Choice.com which is a really I don't know why but I feel like that's like a weird name for a website Choice I don't know like you know like there's some words that like don't sound like real words I feel like that's how I feel about that website, but I do like their stuff. So anyway, um, then I have some like Lone Ranger stuff where it's just, you know, I just got like one thing here, one thing there. And then I also have a shoe haul from Nordstrom. I'm a little bit of a shoe gal, uh, and I'll talk a lot about the shoes at the end, so we're going to leave those for last. So let's go ahead and start with the Charming Charlie stuff. So first and foremost, you guys know I love Charming Charlie. I did that huge, massive haul last year. I bought so much stuff, and then I had to just like force myself to not go there for a while because... I spent like tons and tons of money and then also it was kind of far away from me so it was like okay well you know I had to make like a special trip out to Brentwood to go you know see these things however there's one now near where my best friend lives and they just opened one in my neighborhood and there's one away on the way to my in-laws so they're kind of like popping up everywhere and it's kind of cool to see this this you know the store get really super popular when I wear a piece like around my sister-in-law she's always like I saw that at Charming Charlie or you know it's kind of neat we're all kind of getting into it so I'm, I'm really excited about it but it's dangerous now because they're like everywhere if you've never been to a Charming Charlie it's a really cool store and I've talked about it before in my previous Charming Charlie Hall, so I'm just going to keep it brief. Um, but basically, it's a an accessories and jewelry store for girls uh, or for boys. Boys can shop there. I'm not. I'm not here to discriminate. Everything in the store is laid out in groups. There's like a purp a purple table and a green table and you know a rose gold table and a gold table and a silver table. Blah, blah, blah. So it's great because if you need something specific, you can just kind of like find where the table is for that. If you're able to go into a Charming Charlie and just buy like the one thing that you need, seriously, you're my hero because. I can't. So I'm wearing actually quite a bit of my haul today, so I'll just get started on the things that I'm wearing. So this necklace is from Charming Charlie. I got this uh, back in May or June or something like that, and I just like the little shape of it. It's cute. It's delicate. It's nice for something like this where like my top is a loud color and I want to wear other accessories, so I want to wear something a little understated, but still something kind of fun here. And I like the navy and gold color. I think it's really classy and elegant and all that. Uh, my earrings are from Charming Charlie as well. Um, I'm going to call them CC from now on because saying Charming Charlie over and over again is just going to drive me insane. So these are from CC and uh, they are like a, the, a metal that's been like uh, distressed or something, or not distressed, but like um, it's textured so it looks almost glittery but it's not actually glitter on there. And then they have a little rose pattern on them and I've been really into like floral stuff lately. It's really weird. Like all of a sudden I'm like, oh I love this floral pattern or you know I've been like thinking about getting like a floral pattern chair for my living room and I, I don't know I'm just all about flowers recently and so I thought these were very sweet and they're lightweight and I just love them and I love the size and I love the shape and I, they're one of my favorite things I actually got in this whole little haul. Um, I also got my bracelet from Charming Charlie or CC. See there we go. Um, black and white nice bold graphic stretchy bracelet and um, it's really it's actually pretty big it's nice I can wear it like lower down on my wrist and then wear a watch over it so it's a good stacking one and I've had both of both this and this for many many months uh, the other piece from Charming Charlie is my watch and this is really oh god I love this so it's a rose gold metal with the gray band and I don't have any watches that have like a leather band like that and I really enjoy this because I can change you know the size of it on whim so I can wear it like a little higher up I can wear it lower down love 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 and it has the stripes on it Ugh, I love this watch. Oh, and I forgot to mention the prices of everything. So this was 15. I don't remember how much this was, but I want to say it was 12. These were six, and this one I think was 10, but I'm not entirely sure. But everything else I'm gonna know the prices for, I think. The next thing I'm gonna share with you is this really great scarf. Now this is awesome. It's like an infinity scarf. You know, you can do the little like this so cute very chic goes with lots of things what I really loved about this though is it was originally $15 and when I got up to the cash register they were like oh it's only $4.99 who doesn't love that so I was 
pretty excited about that and uh, it's just a nice like soft cotton material and again it would go with so many different outfit things and love it so these next couple of items that I'm going to be sharing with you I actually bought for a very specific event I had a wedding to go to and I was wearing a beautiful blue dress and I just needed something that would go with it and I came to the realization that all of my clutches were either like black or they were like holographic or they were just in, a, in some way inappropriate for this you know particular event it was like a you know very elegant wedding for a family member and um, speaking of I'm actually gonna be doing a video all about wedding dress etiquette for a guest so what to wear to a wedding makeup to wear to a wedding and all that so that is gonna be coming up either at the end of this week or the beginning of next week I'm not entirely sure how that's gonna pan out but I did want to alert you guys to that because it's gonna be pretty exciting so anyway I went to Charming um, Charlie and I asked the girl you know I need help because like I really can't figure out what to do and she I explained her my dress and everything and she said well why don't you do like peach colored accessories especially since I wanted to wear it with these um burgundy shoes I thought oh that would look really really great have like peach and like a nude and oh I loved it so, so the first thing that I got was actually a set it comes with the earrings and the necklace so here's the earrings they're very delicate and sweet and I think they're kind of turned around so let me okay so yeah like little sweet earrings very cute very um you know simple but beautiful and then here's the necklace that goes with it and it has the beautiful white flowers and the rose gold so I thought it was a great combination of like a modern look but it also almost looks a little bit like vintage costume jewelry and also the uh flower petals have like a little bit of a pink peach like shine to them they they have like a little bit of like a glimmer I don't know if I've used the word glimmer in a long time so they have a little bit of a glimmer to them it's not quite shimmer not quite glitter glimmer and uh, they're really oh they're lovely lovely and I love the rose gold so pretty so I wanted something to go with it because I wanted to have like a layered look and you know make it a little more special it was for a wedding so you know you, you can bump it up a little bit and so I found this piece well I didn't find it actually the girl suggested it to me and I was like heck yes this is so in fact I think she suggested the other piece as well they're really really great at showing you things that you're gonna love things are gonna go with what you're wearing um, they're really awesome at that so I picked this up gorgeous and then I layered it with this let me show you so I layered the two like that and I think it looks kind of cool. I, I don't normally like the layered look and sometimes I feel like it's a little heavy but those two went together so beautifully that now I've tried wearing them separately and it's like it feels feels wrong somehow I don't know so the last piece that I want to share with you from Charming Charlie is a bag and as I mentioned I was going to a family wedding it was very elegant it was a really just gorgeous formal wedding so I really just didn't want to have anything that was like out of place and I realized all my clutches were like black or holographic or like a really bright color and I was like none of these are appropriate and I didn't want to bring a big bag um, I did have one like little small peach bag that was from Target but that one my jeans rubbed on it and I'm like well, I don't want to bring like a stained bag anyway so I went in and I found this gorgeous clutch look at this this is such a gorgeous color it's like a you know a pinky creamy nude in fact uh, I think Kate Spade had some bags that were this color and she called it affogato so I'm calling this my affogato bag uh, just really really pretty pinky nude cream gorgeous really goes well with my skin tone as well and it has the gold hardware which is really cute and one thing I really like is it had the stripes on the inside so it almost feels like a high-end bag it almost feels like a Kate Spade and I uh, did have the chain which is removable so you could use it just as a clutch I actually used it as like a you know a shoulder bag so cute love this love, love. and it's also big enough that it actually held everything because I had to keep quite a lot of stuff on me because I also was the makeup artist for this wedding so I needed to you know do touch-ups and stuff so I had to keep like a little you know touch-up bag in there for the bride so um, that is my Charming Charlie haul. A couple of things I'm going to talk about are just some like one-off things that I got here, there, or the other place. And the first one is a necklace from Eloqui. I recently placed my first order with them. Uh, I bought a pair of pants. They're Katie pants, which are supposed to be like, you know, this iconic pant. And I'm not really sure how I feel about them, but we'll talk about them another time. But because I was placing an order, I decided I'm going to go ahead and get this really cute necklace because it's, hello, it's neon, and I'm really feeling neon at the moment. Obviously it's like a huge trend and I figured I would just get something like this to kind of like participate in the trend and you know be able to wear it with something that was maybe like more subdued. So I plan on wearing this with like navy or like anything that's more neutral just to kind of give it like a pop. The other thing that's really great is that because it's a chain necklace if I decide I hate the you know the neon at a later time I can just take the fabric part off and then I would just have like a gold chain necklace so that could be like Mr. T. 
So <laughs> the next things I'm going to share with you are some things that I got at Evangeline's Costume Mansion, which is in Sacramento, California. So unfortunately, it's not like something where I can like direct you direct you to a website or anything. But I just thought I would share them anyway because it's kind of interesting. So the first thing is this really cute bow tie. It's a striped double double t you know layered bow tie and it has a skull cameo in the center so cute this was like $5.99 um, the funny thing is I like bow ties just to wear like for fun you know I don't know I don't usually like wear them out maybe but like sometimes I'll wear them if, if I'm making a video or something and I have maybe plans to do something with this I don't know but Mikey also really loves bow ties so we actually kind of have shared custody of this one although I don't know when he's gonna wear one with like a female's cameo on it but it, he's assured me multiple times, hey, that's joint custody we have of that one. Um, and then the other thing I got at the Evangeline's Costume Mansion was this really pretty handkerchief. And I like to put handkerchiefs like over my hair when I have them in rollers, or sometimes I'll tie my hair back with them. And this one is just so pretty. I love the white with the colors. It's just so happy and cheerful. And yeah, I just like it. And it was only like two bucks so I thought that was like a really good deal on that. A couple of things I'm gonna share with you is from choice.com. Technically they provided me with like store credit to purchase these things but I did pick them out myself. Um, but this is technically a gift from a company so there's your FTC disclaimer. So the first couple of things I want to share with you are kind of really kind of eccentric and fun. So this first one is a turban uh, like a fashion turban and I have some ideas of doing like a tutorial with this like maybe like a 1920s tutorial or maybe even like a Halloween kind of situation so I'm gonna keep that at a mum for now. This was $12 when I bought it so it's pretty inexpensive and kind of a fun way to like test it out and see if I like it and um, try it with you know maybe different looks or whatever so just kind of fun you know put a little jewel on it or something. Uh, the next thing that I got from choice.com was a floral headband. I had not jumped on the floral headband bandwagon is that yeah so <laughs> I just thought it was pretty and I was like okay let's try it out and again it's something I could use in a tutorial um, I'm going to a concert next month but I don't think that it's like necessarily appropriate for that concert I'm going to um, Aftershock in uh, Sacramento which is more like like hard rock bands and stuff like that but I don't know I might wear it anyway because I don't care what anyone thinks this next piece I got from choice.com is a really great necklace. This was $18.99 um, and it has the rose gold or not rose gold, gun metal metal to it. It's sort of like a Marie Antoinette, like the punk rock version. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It has like this really great like regal, you know, setting of the jewels. It's a great statement piece, but it has, you know, these rhinestones on it that are so sparkly, almost like little diamonds. But then, you know, all the neon colors ever so it's just it's fun and it's gonna be a fun little statement piece again to wear as like a pop of, of color with some more like neutral colors or you know I don't know it'll be fun it feels really nice quality and I've gotten stuff from choice.com in the past that hasn't felt like very good quality whereas this one feels like r pretty nice quality I do also want to say that like choice.com is kind of weird like they have like a lot of like really chintzy weird like just cheap cute accessories and like crazy stuff but they also have stuff that I've seen like the literal exact same item at Nordstrom so I do it's like it's weird they, they exist in this like weird accessories universe where they have things that are like semi high-end and then things that are just like eccentric and crazy and that's kind of why I love them but anyway then the last thing that I got from choice.com you guys are gonna laugh about so if you guys follow me on Instagram you guys saw I bought a pair of Tory Burch sunglasses from Nordstrom that didn't end up working out for me so I ended up returning them and then I saw these and I was like oh those look like fun let me try those out these are a little bit too big <laughs> so these are a huge. In fact, I think they actually list them as huge aviators, but I didn't think they were going to be like this huge. I mean, like what? What? No. Mm -mm. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> like who, who would, I, I'm at a loss for words. It does come with a case and an outer case, which is kind of nice, but I don't think I'm ever going to use these. So I might keep them in the car for like emergency sunglasses, but Otherwise, those are kind of crazy, and I thought that you guys would get a kick out of seeing how ridiculously huge those are. <laughs> okay, so the next couple of items I got from Nordstrom, and it's mostly a shoe haul, but I do want to show you one other accessory that I got. It is a headband, you know, one of those ones that you wear like this, 
and then you you know tuck your hair around it or just, you know whatever um so unfortunately my hair is not done properly to wear like that today but it's really really pretty i love the pink color with the gold and everything it's just lovely i actually intended to wear this to my family's you know wedding last weekend but i didn't end up wearing it at the last minute so anyway it's just lovely and it does actually uh, you know Oh, how pretty. How pretty those would go together. But I ended up not using this because I realized that it was a little more like Grecian or boho looking and my dress was more like structured and almost like 1950s like in style. So it just didn't really mesh. And that's something to keep in mind. Like even when things like color wise go together, sometimes style wise they clash. And sometimes that can be fun and it creates like a nice juxtaposition. But for that particular event, I just wanted it to all kind of flow and, and go together seamlessly and not have any like, you know, so now I want to share with you guys my shoe haul. And, oh, I'm losing shoes. Okay, so <laughs> I want to explain to you guys a little bit about, like, my shoe and my foot situation. So um, don't worry, I'm not going to show you my feet because... You, um, but I love shoes. Obviously, I'm, I'm a female, and I, you know, I love accessories. I love shoes. And with that love comes the fact that I have a wide width foot. I'm very, very picky, and I've gotten to the point where, like, I am just not willing to put up with shoes that don't fit properly, or that are uncomfortable in any way, or are crappy. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm like, I used to be the mayor of like cheap shoes. And I'll still buy them every now and then, but I generally am trying to buy like nicer quality shoes that I'm going to have for a long period of time because shoes are something where your size doesn't change. You know, it's perfectly fine to get a higher quality shoe and want them to fit properly. I want them to look right. I want them to be comfortable, but I also want them to be cute because, you know, I, you know, I want them to be cute. I don't think I have to explain that. I actually end up buying a lot of shoes online, which is really hard because you can't try them on. But luckily, I buy a lot of them from Nordstrom because they have a really great return policy. And then the other thing is they have such a huge selection of wide width and narrow width and all that stuff. So the shoes that I'm going to be sharing with you today are all from Nordstrom. I have, was having just such a hard time this summer finding the perfect pair of like summer sandals that were maybe a, you know a little bit of a heel or something and I bought these really great ones from Vince Camuto which unfortunately I don't have to share with you because I ended up having to return them they were gorgeous and when I put them on they were like really comfortable but something about the pitch of the shoe after about like two and a half hours of wearing them they were just unbearable it was so weird because when I first put them on they're really really comfortable but you know it just happened so, so unfortunately they had to be returned which was such a bummer because they came in a bunch of different colors I was like oh this is great if I love them I can buy them on all the colors and it didn't work out so I ended up buying something else instead and when I went to return those I went ahead and bought these um, these are from soft which is like a, I guess like a comfort shoe brand which always makes me think like oh no they're gonna be matronly but these actually are pretty cute so these are a black sandal and they have a wedge and the pitch of this is great it's really comfortable for me uh, and they just they're adorable and they were on sale so these were $54 so I went ahead and got both these and the tan color of them but what's weird is the tan color fit totally different even though they're, they're the exact same shoe exact same size um, I'm kind of picky of, about like how toes come out of shoes because I'm not the biggest fan of feet and just I feel like when there's like toes all over the place it just can it can I don't know. With the tan colored ones, your little baby toe ends up showing a lot out of this one. And I just didn't like the way it looked with like some toes and then another random toe. It looked like you had like an extra toe coming out the side of your foot. It was just not cute. Anyway, with the black ones, they didn't do that. And it's so weird because again, exact same shoe. But I also noticed that the leather on this is a little stiffer, whereas the leather on the brown ones was really, really, really soft, which at first I was like, oh, great. They're nice and buttery. But I think because they were soft, they were just kind of like a little too loose or something. I don't know. Um, so there you go that is the first pair that I have to share with you and I do I think they're lovely and again they were like $54 so <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that because Nordstrom shoes are typically pretty expensive um, the other thing I want to mention is that these shoes come in a narrow a medium and a wide so doesn't matter what your shoe width is they've got something for you so I love that I love 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 that because so many people you know I feel like a lot of people wear the wrong shoe width like some people need a narrow shoe and they don't buy narrow and some people need a wide and they don't buy wide um, so I think it's really great when companies they sell all the different widths and everything like that got a pair of flats from Sam Edelman this is I'm showing you guys the box on purpose because I always like seeing the boxes that shoes come in because 
choose. And so um, I recently got into Teeks. They're a really great brand for flat shoes. Um, they fold up, they're very comfortable, they have a nice rubber bottom, but they're super expensive. And I just need some like basic flats. And I'm like, I don't think I wanna spend $200 for just some basic flats. So I decided to go with Sam Edelman. I heard about the Felicia, Felicity, Felicia? Felicia. Um, so I'd heard about these and I've been wanting to get them and so when they got a new batch of new colors and I was like I pounced on them. So these are the shoes that I got. They are the Felicity flat in I think it's called new burgundy but it's basically a burgundy color. It looks very dark brown which is kind of nice like it's not so obvious that they're burgundy at first glance. They're just oh they're lovely. They have a little Sam Edelman signature here and I love that little bow detailing. I like that it's like a cute bow so it makes them kind of sweet and very like ballet flat like but it's not like a big huge bow that like kind of is like tension grabbing um, it, they're very very padded in the footbed which I find amazing very padded in the heel um, it says Sam Edelman uh, and yeah love them they're really great little flats and I definitely get to pick these up in more colors these come in both medium and wide width and the wide width fits me great love 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 these were $89 and I'm definitely gonna want more colors I think I want to get like maybe navy and brown and Maybe the calf hair ones that are leopard print? I don't know. We'll see. So the last pair that I'm going to be sharing with you today is from Trotter's Signature. So I think there's like Trotter's and then there's Trotter's Signature shoes. I don't, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I love the color of the box. So pretty. And I, I'm not really sure how I came across these. I think I was just looking for shoes. Or maybe I was just like browsing their like new shoes. And then I saw these and I was like... <gasps> So I've been wanting a pair of loafers for a really, really long time, and I just never find any that I like that much, especially with a lot of the loafers that are in a wide width, they're usually very matronly, and I just, I can't hang. I just don't want to wear matronly shoes. So I came across these, and I just fell in love instantly. I was like, I have to have these. So these come, let me look on my little notes, these come in a medium, a narrow, and a wide as well. So here are my new loafers. Oh my god, so cute. Sorry, they're a little, I've been wearing them. They're a little stained up though sweet on the inside so sorry about it but uh oh how cute are these like seriously so they're a black suede and they have this really really cute little heart on the toe and the little bone it's so cute and i just love it and i have to talk like this <sighs> these just make me happy and um they come also in a light gray they come in a burgundy they come in just like a solid black oh these are so good so again i kind of am thinking about getting oh i just kicked myself with this I'm thinking about getting these in another color, but I'm just like, oh, because these were a little more expensive. These were $129, but realistically for a nice, you know, a nice loafer, it's not too bad. They are pretty padded and everything. Very comfortable. They're a little tight in the toe box, but I'm I'm certain that they'll, you know, whiten out with wear, because um, I've only actually worn them a few times, so. Those are my new trotters. Love these. So cute. I guess that's about it for this haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me while I talk about my new shoes and accessories and all that nice neat stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I want to thank my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter followers for helping me decide how to do this video because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like a shoe haul and then an accessories haul or do it all together and everyone said do it all together. So thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Remember to just be yourself.